Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Remina Remote Desktop Client to connect to a Windows PC from a Linux PC so that way you can control the computer. You could also use this to go from Linux to Linux as well, but we're just going to show you how to go from Linux to Windows. Alright, so the first thing you need to do obviously is install Remina on your Linux computer. And the way you do that is going to vary depending on what version of Linux you're using. So I'm using Zorin right now, which is based on Ubuntu. So if you go to their website, it'll give you some instructions for each type. So if we go up here, we have the different releases of Linux. So if you go to Ubuntu, for example, here are the commands that you could run to make sure that it's working. So once you get it installed, uh, you simply open it, and then you just choose what kind of connection. So we're going to be using RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, for Windows. You could also use VNC or SSH. So you'll be using one of these for Linux. Linux does have a remote desktop client. At least some of them do if you go to the settings. And sharing. This might not be in the exact same place depending on what version uh, you're using. I think they moved it for newer versions of Ubuntu. So you can see here we do have a remote desktop option, but I think you need a remote desktop, you know, kind of server to get this to work and you know, just turning this on is not necessarily going to make it work so just keep that in mind and then you could also do things like install a vnc server on your linux computer and then use the vnc option to connect to it and then of course you could use ssh if you want to do some secure command line stuff all right so anyways we're going to be using rdp since we're connecting to windows so let's go over to the windows computer and see what we had to do over there all right, then we opened up the settings app here, went to system, remote desktop, made sure it was on. This is our PC name right here. And then if you click on remote desktop users, this tells you who can connect to this computer remotely. So this is a Microsoft account that we're going to be using. So it already has access because it's part of the administrators group. So anybody in the administrators group can use remote desktop and connect to this computer. And then of course you can add individual users from here if they're not part of the administrators group. All right, let's go back to Linux. All right, so I have the host name typed in here. So this might not work if you don't have any kind of DNS resolution set up and it didn't work for me. So I tried all the tricks on Windows to get it to connect uh, via a host name. So it connected with an IP address just fine. So what I did is I went into the Etsy host file on the Linux computer that's using the Ramina software and added a line here with the IP address and host name for the Win 11 Pro computer. So that way, if you're going to be connecting to it all the time, you could add a line here and then just use host name so you don't have to remember the IP address. And of course, you could save a session as well. All right, so let's try that out real quick. All right, so we've got RDP. We're going to just press Enter while we're in here. All right, accept the certificate. We'll say yes. Okay, so normally if you're connecting in Windows to Windows, you have to put a Microsoft account slash email address for that Microsoft account to connect to a remote share. But since this is just Linux going to Windows, we're just going to use the username in Windows. So Todd S and then Todd's password for Windows, which in this case will be the same as his Microsoft account password. Okay, you don't need to worry about a domain if you're just in a work group. All right, logging in here. Okay, so now we're on our settings page here. So here's our desktop. So I'm recording at a low resolution too, so the quality is a little poor. So we have some options here. You could hover over them, resize to fit, full screen mode. Uh, there's another one here, scaled mode, but that makes it look a little off. So your screen should look a little better when you're using, you know, full resolution. And we have some other options here, such as grab all keyboard events, some preferences, make it view only, tools, send control alt delete, send some other clipboard content, take a screenshot, minimize the window, disconnect, and the ones that are grayed out we can't use, obviously. And you can go home, and you got your menu there. All right, so while we're here, obviously we could use the computer like we were 
sitting right at it. Fix that a little. There we go. All right, so let's disconnect from that. Go back into the app here. So it puts it under Internet in this case. So you might have to look around your uh, menus there to find it. And right here we have a main menu if you want to see some preferences. There's a lot of options here. I'll just kind of go through these here and you could pause if you want to read anything. You might want to come here and change some of these quality levels depending on your connection. So one thing I will say too, I'm doing this over network, so I'm not doing it over the internet. You can use it over the internet, obviously, but you'd have to set up some kind of you know VPN connection or something in your router to accept the connection and do all that kind of stuff because they don't supply their own remote servers that you could use kind of like you know TeamViewer does. Now you can import and export your settings here. There's some plugins. Go to the home page and so on. And if we click up here, we can make a new profile. Let's just call this Win11 Pro. I'll leave all this stuff blank for now. While we're using RDP. And we have some of our remembered connections here. We can put in the name and the password. And any share folders you want to connect to and that type of thing. Here's some resolution options you could choose. Color depth. Do auto detect for example. Then back up here we have some other resolutions that you can make available. Alright, so we'll click on save. So now we have it in our list here. So next time we want to connect to it, just double click on it. And it takes us right in because we saved the name and password. And then, of course, you could add others to your list and then just have a way to quickly access them. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to configure Remina Remote Desktop to connect to Windows, at least on the same network. So once again, you just need to install it. I'll follow the instructions based on your uh, Linux installation. So I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. And then on your Windows computer, make sure it's Pro or Enterprise. You know, it's not going to work for home because it doesn't support RDP unless maybe you tried using a VNC server on a Windows Home Edition. Then you could try that from the menu option up here and connect to it that way. And then you need to go into the settings on the Windows computer and make sure the remote desktop is enabled and the correct user counts are there as well. And then if you need to edit your host file, uh, you could do that as well just by opening it up and adding this line here of course with the right IP address and host name. Alright so like I said I'll put a link in the description for Remina Remote Desktop and you can try it yourself. Alright thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.